Coco here today, flying solo. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. it up i thought it was so cute i love as a reseller finding odd things and like researching to see what it is i, I like odd i like vintage but this i've never seen anything like this so i've been researching this i got this like three weeks ago and i've been google lensing it i've been researching it i cannot find this i don't know if maybe somebody made it but um yeah this is my weird time of the day i probably paid about 10 cents for it so i don't know i'm gonna once i list it i'll figure out how to list it and i'll let you guys know if anybody buys it if anybody out there knows what this is if somebody actually made it themselves like i said is this retro is it vintage i don't know but it's so freaking cool am i right another odd item that i was gifted for my mom she knows that I love vintage jewelry and like vintage brooches and just odd, you know, brooches. And she happened to get this. And she does not know the history behind it. Neither do I. It is, I've been researching this for like a couple of months now. I don't know if it's a nurse or a hairdresser symbol. At first I thought this was a tin, the Tin Man, but it's such a cool brooch, but I can't, I can find things on the individual charms I have found, but I have not found this guy, this little guy in the middle. Can't find it. Very weird, odd brooch, uh, but I love it. I love it. And I will find out eventually, hopefully, if anybody knows what this symbol is, please let me know. As a reseller, I feel like I'm supposed to know everything. Like, I'm supposed to be an expert. I've been doing this for over three years now. I still am a baby at it, I know, compared to everyone else. But you would think that, like, I would have these, like, magical powers by now to know what, what everything is. And I really hate that I don't. It makes me feel really frustrated and stupid sometimes. But it's just part of the game. It's part of the learning. It's part of the research. Like I said, one of the reasons why I love reselling is because it could be very fun. So today is June 5th and it is starting over day. It's national starting over day. And I have started over millions of times. Well, maybe not millions, but lots of times I've switched careers. I used to be a singer songwriter, an actor, a comedian. I just constantly I'm trying different things. I'm trying to follow different passions of mine. One of my passions has always been reselling. I love going into Good Goodwill and like garage sales, different things, and finding items and flipping them, researching where they came from, especially, like I said, if they're vintage or odd, I really love them. And um, I just feel like, it just feels like I'm an archeologist out in the wild of, of things. What I've been into lately is toys, little toys, flipping them, buying them for like 10 cents, 25 cents, selling them between 10 and $15. Now, one thing that I get a lot of, and I know a lot of resellers get a lot of, is people are angry that we are buying these things and then selling them for a higher price. But the thing is, we find odd things. We find things that maybe somebody in, I don't know, Minnesota can't find. 
but I and other resellers are taking the time to dig through these items, going through the bins, going to, you know, doing the, the, the legwork and then looking them up, listing them, cleaning them. So we are going the extra mile to, to find people things that they maybe don't have access to and we're helping them maybe fulfill that wish of finding a collectible toy, a shirt that they have been looking for. So, you know, that's how I look at it. And I'm sure a lot of other resellers look at it like that as well. Speaking of National Starting Over Day, I have been given a gift from my husband where I, for the first time, and this is why I'm here solo, am he, he, he's letting me run our business. You know, obviously he's still, we're partners in it and we're both running it together, but he's letting me on the daily list, source, make videos, really take the, take our business and run with it and see what I can do with it. Cause I really want to bring it to the next level. So shout out to Basso Ragnar for letting me, um, be a full timer now because I've always done this part-time and he's been more of the full-time person. So now I'm getting a chance to do it full-time and I am loving it. I mean, my skin is clearer. I'm happier. I wake up very happy in the morning instead of stressing out. So that's, that's one major wow. Okay. Another cool item sold for the sold comp on this one was forty two dollars um she's a 1990 barbie now believe it or not if you see dolls with no clothes on them but they're in good condition get them because they go quick i bought about five of them now in the past week and they're all gone so if you see them especially at the bins where this is probably like i probably paid 20 cents you know, I'm flipping them for like $10, $12 because people, you know, buy them and they, they do really cool YouTube channels where they repaint them and do all kinds of cool stuff. So definitely check that out. And like this, random, you would not even think anything of this probably. You'd probably like, oh, I'm it's a Barbie princess. And um, this is selling for $19 plus $2 shipping. Somebody sold it for this little thing, which I spent 20 cents for. So, let's see what else. This guy I happened to find. Oh, he's from 1996, G.I. Joe. Um, he had a sold comp of $38. A lot of like $38, $40, whatever. I probably paid about 75 cents for him. We'll put him up to see what happens. Another thing, a little quick tip that I want to talk when you go to the bins wear gloves wear a hat because the bins can get pretty dirty and you want to protect yourself you want to make sure like I just I everything I buy from the bins these toys I keep them outside I wash them down I wipe them down I soak them I make sure that they're all clean before I bring them in the house and before I send them to customers, that's very important. But, you know, sometimes, like I said, the bins can get a little gnarly and everybody's on top of you. Um, just stay clean, stay nice, wear your gloves. You don't want to get hand, foot, and mouth disease. I know, that's paranoid, but just a tip for me to you. You know what I mean? And, ah, one more thing. Another piece of satisfaction for me is me and Bay always have a friendly competition about things that we pick. Um, whose picks are better? Who's going to make more money? And a lot of times Bay will poo-poo me and be like, that's junk and it's not worth anything. And every once in a while, maybe he's right. Every once in a while. So, but most of the time, he's not. And I'm right. So, okay. So I was at the bins alone. I found this bag. Okay, very cool. I don't know, I thought it's beautiful condition, very pristine inside and out, very clean. 
And uh, like I said, I always spray everything down and wipe everything down anyway, but this was really clean. I must have spent about a dollar on this because, you know, at the Goodwill bins, you you pay what it weighs. And uh, so there's a certain, every different Goodwill bins throughout the country has a different pricing system. But for us, this costs a dollar, okay? And as I always say, sometimes you just have to go with your gut. And if you have a feeling about something, just, just do it. What do you have to lose? Right, so I Google lens it there. And I couldn't find this particular image. There was another Helsing bag that sold for $120 with a different image. So <clears throat> I was like, I'm gonna get this. I came home, they was like, no, that's not, that's, you're probably gonna get like 20 bucks for that. Like, that's not anything. And I was like, oh, okay. Now this was like a month ago. So remember, sometimes things take a little while to sell. Guess what happened? Yesterday, this sold for a hundred and ten dollars. Hundred and ten dollars for this. Bay is actually calling me right now while I'm making a video. I can't answer, babe. I'm doing a video without you. I said I was gonna wait for him to want to do this video about. The Helsing bag, but who has time to waste? I got the time, I do the video. But anyway, $110. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winning for Coco. So, in conclusion, it's never too late to start over. Whatever your passion is, even if it isn't reselling, do whatever makes you happy. Whatever you wake up and get excited about doing, do it. Do it. It doesn't matter how old you are. That's just an excuse. I used to think that up until very recently. Just a few months ago. And you know what? That's bullshit. It's bullshit. So, go after what you want. The smalls keep you in business. Go with your gut. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with Coco. Wait a minute. I forgot. As I always forget this. It's always me's his job. Go down below, like and subscribe, smash, look at it, kick it, whatever you got to do. Leave us comments. Hopefully there'll be nice comments. If you want to leave hate, I get it, I understand. But, you know, try to be nice.